So you're thinking about moving to Baltimore, Maryland. However, you really don't want to be in the city. So today I'm on the Ma and Pa Trail here in Bel Air, Maryland, located in Hartford County, just 26 miles north of Baltimore. So let's get to it. Well, hey there, I'm John Ruckman. I'm the Charm City Property Dude. And in this video, we're gonna go over Bel Air, Maryland. It's the number one spot other than Baltimore, Maryland to move if you're thinking about moving to Maryland. But before we get started, do me a huge favor. Hit that like and subscribe button down below. Hit the notification bell for this and all the other great videos. And uh, immerse yourself in the videos here. This is the latest and greatest up-to-date information that I can give you. All right. You know, I get a lot of phone calls from folks just like you, email, text messages, and, and it's awesome. I absolutely love it. And uh, if you call or email me any day, night, weekend, well, don't worry. I've got your back when it comes to real estate. So let's get the part started. All right. With the average sales price being about three forty-five, dollars it just depends on, you know, the affordability factor for you and your family. Um, groceries, gas, transportation, parking all on par with the national average might be slightly higher but as compared to the rest of maryland and some of the other cities here in maryland like ellicott city which i'm going to do a video on that uh, columbia bel air is actually cheaper than all of those and literally is 26 miles north of baltimore but as i said in previous videos the traffic between baltimore and harford county right now is just horrendous they decided last summer to like redo all the bridges. And I always say that the state flower is the traffic cone. So I joke around about that, but it's like anything else. Once you get adapted to the area, you understand traffic patterns and all that. It's really, really nice. Of course, you have all this other free stuff here in the county. I'm on the Ma Pa Trail, free and heavy. I'm actually uh, supposedly doing the hard 70 and I started today. So 45 minutes worth of exercise in the morning, 45 minutes worth of exercise in the afternoon. And uh, try to do that for 70 days. But you can always find a lot of free stuff. There's, uh, you know, you can get involved in Harford County uh, Rec, uh, which is really relatively inexpensive. But uh, if you're considering, you know, moving to Baltimore, Maryland, well, you can always consider Bel Air. Bel Air is a fine place to live. I live in Harford County. I actually live in Falston, which is about four miles to the other side of Bel Air. Uh, real nice place for family, pretty much everybody. You know, if you want to, the schools are great. Go ahead and check out your school systems. But on the scale of affordability, really, it just depends upon you and your family and your taste and your lifestyle and how you want to live. So uh, definitely, uh, definitely want to have a car to live up in Harford County. Everything is good. you can walk, but. <laughs> not like the city where you know you can walk out your building so like a silo point or a harbor view and walk right downstairs to the grocery store or a restaurant so you definitely need a car up here but the good news is is parking up here is free there's not a lot of paid parking up here as far as public transportation there is the link system but usually that's for like the folks over you know 65 to get to, to the mall and stuff like that it gets you discouraged because there's apartments here there's condos here and of course you know they're anywhere from uh you know like 150 all the way up to like one million dollars just depends on what part of the county you go to but everything located right around centrally bel air which is forest hill uh abingdon bel air uh is all about the average sales price is about 345 per house um usually you have your uh your condo fees or your hoa fees which generally about the average about 75 dollars per month and of course uh you can always reach out and contact me for more information any kind of tours and stuff like that as far as the houses are concerned all right and like i said before i get a lot of phone calls from folks just like you every day emails text messages inquiring about moving into the area so if you're thinking about moving into Baltimore, or you're thinking about moving into Maryland, I definitely need more exercise. Thinking about moving into Maryland, you can always reach out, text, email, touch base with me any day, night, or weekend. Don't worry, I've got your back when it comes to real estate. I'm John, I'm the Charm City Property Dude, and uh, yeah, go ahead and check out this video right here, or that one right there, and uh, we're gonna have some more uh, 
Some more fun videos coming up soon. And yeah, is Bel Air affordable? That entirely depends upon you. Yeah.